Hi friends, my name is Michael Albert and I'm an artist and an author. And this is my book. It's called An Artist's America. It was published by Henry Holt in 2008. And ever since it came out, I have developed this traveling art program, which I call the Modern Pop Art Experience. And it's basically a combination between an artist visit, a hands-on workshop, and a free poster giveaway and signing. And I've been doing this program now for over a decade. And I've taken it to over 1,000 schools, libraries, museums, senior centers, uh, and art festivals all over the United States. I'm up to 40 states where I've brought my program to so far. And also, I've gone to Europe several times with this program. And um, you can check my website which has a lot of information and links, michaelalbert.com. I believe that's going to be provided for you. And also you can Google Michael Albert Pop Art and you'll see a lot of articles and images and different things about, about what I've done uh, so far and to give you some more background information. But my program basically is a two-hour program that is great for kids, school age and up, you know, as long as they're able to use scissors and glue, um, even on the younger side, if the parent is with them, um, they can do this project. I've worked with very young children as well, but generally school age and up where they can use scissors and glue by themselves. Uh, this is a great teen program. It's a great adult program. I've done many just adult sessions. Um, there are plenty of adults in every community that love to make art, and love to come to the library or the community center and, and do creative projects. And this also really lends itself to uh, being a multi-generational program where kids and their parents can be working together on um, creative projects. And it's, uh, it's been great. And so I'm hoping this summer, I'm planning to come to the Midwest probably from late June until the beginning of August and to do a tour of several states and bring my program to as many venues as I can. I'm hoping to do a whole series of library programs. Sometimes on the weekends, um, I'll do programs at children's museums. Sometimes there's festivals and other venues that are looking for this type of project and through networking with the librarians, and the different people that I've uh, been in contact with, I'm able to uh, tie in some other visits with me. But really, ideally, I'm looking for a summer pop art tour of libraries in the, in the upper Midwest. Uh, last summer, I did go to North Dakota and South Dakota, and I did a series of programs in North Dakota in 12 cities. Uh, and I did a few in South Dakota in the Eastern side. Um, and those were great. And this is how I was able to uh, connect with the Performer Showcase and hopefully have a chance to book um, programs all around the state and return to North Dakota um, if possible. And I'm also hoping to go to Iowa and Illinois. I'm going to do those showcases very soon and see if I could put a, you know, a month or six week tour together and visit as many venues as possible. So quickly, I'll tell you about my program, uh, the Modern Pop Art Experience. First, um, I have a series of posters of my work. And I'm, I guess I'm mostly known for making collages out of cereal boxes and consumer brand packages, which is a material that most of us have on hand already at home. Um, and I have several ideas that I've come up with using these types of materials. One of them is just simply deconstructing a famous brand package like this Frosted Flakes box, just cutting it apart and putting it back together. I have some ideas that are more based on using the color of the packages. So in this uh, heart collage, I collected a series of red images from all different packages I had collected and form them into the shape of a heart. 
Another color-based idea is the American flag, where I, in this case, I took red pieces from a Coca-Cola carton and blue pieces from an Oreo cookie box and created my own uh, artistic version of the American flag. So um, those, those I call color-based ideas. And then I have another uh, group of ideas that I call text-based, where I use the letters from the different packages to create um, art. And this is one of my serious creations, which is the Gettysburg Address. It's the entire Gettysburg Address speech by Abraham Lincoln. And I spelled out the entire speech with letters from all these types of packages. And um, something like that takes, takes quite a while, but um, something like a name collage where you just cut out letters and spell your name and then use different images from these types of packages to surround or you know, decorate the, the text that you've chosen um, is something that's very doable. In, in the time that we have allotted for this workshop. Um, so the posters, I have about 15 to 20 different posters of my work. And the first thing I do is I will send each venue that books me a tube of posters for them to keep and to use however you know they, you see fit, such as making a display, showing them to local art teachers to drum up interest. Um, and they can be displayed informally, you know, just on a bulletin board. Um, some libraries love them and uh, frame them and put them up in a more traditional type of presentation. But um, these are really high quality prints. I sign them all and send them to you and they're yours to use however you choose. Um, when I come for my program, my program is a two hour program. And I start out by introducing myself and presenting some examples of my work and talking about the project that we're about to do. Um, that takes about 20 to 30 minutes. I call that a artist presentation and talk. I also can take some questions while that's happening. Uh, then there's a hands on collage workshop where I bring scissors and glue for about 50 people. I bring pieces of cardboard to use as a base for the collages. And um, generally something about this size, eight and a half by 11, eight by 10, whether it's the back of a writing pad or pieces of corrugated cardboard, or I get some boards from a local frame shop that I work with. They, frame shops usually have scrap from the work that they do from creating mats and creating and doing their framing jobs. So I have a whole collection of um, boards that I get from, from frame shops that I work with. Um, and then I bring several shopping bags filled with assorted boxes to make a nice pile. Um, I do ask libraries to, uh, collect some boxes themselves and maybe ask the participants to bring in a cereal box or a package and add to the pile, but that's not mandatory because I have plenty with me. Um, and so I generally have, you know, even if you can't collect any materials, I will have enough to do the workshop. Um, and the hands-on workshop part of the program takes about an hour. I mean, I like to give people a chance to create and not rush them. And um, I found that um, you know some people can can even work longer than that, but but that seems to be a good amount of time. And then the final part of my program I call a free poster giveaway and signing. And so during my presentation, when I show everybody these posters, which are meant as a way to introduce myself and my art to the group as well as to give them ideas for the project that they're about to do. I tell everybody that I've brought enough posters with me that I can offer everybody there uh, a free poster of their choice uh, to take home as a special thank you gift for coming. And so while everybody's working, we then go around the room and one by one we ask each person, you know, if they would like a poster and if so, which one. 
Uh, sometimes we lay them out so that people can take a closer look at them because I show them pretty quickly while I'm giving my presentation. And once we have compiled a list of what everybody would like, um, we give everybody a 15 minute warning that it's time to start finishing up your project and helping clean up the stuff. And I go out to my car and I get everybody's posters. I bring them back in. And then one by one, everybody comes up to me and I give them their poster. I sign it for them. I roll it up for them with a rubber band and they get to leave. And so this modern pop art experience is kind of this whole art experience where they get to meet the artist, learn a little bit about me and my work, do a project themselves using the same materials that I use to create my serious work and then not only leave with something that they've created, but leave with a signed print as a, a commemoration of this experience. And uh, it's been great. I have a lot of references. You could uh, Google Michael Albert pop art and you'll see many articles and interviews and things about some of the programs I've been doing all over the country over the last decade or so. And um, yeah, I would really love to uh, make a nice tour of the Midwest this summer. So I'm hoping to have a chance to connect with you and and see what we can what we can plan. Um, the in that's the in person program that I'm describing, but this also really lends itself well to virtual programming. And um, the virtual programs I have to offer are a Zoom workshop which we can schedule, then the Zoom workshops are generally a, an hour and a half. And with that, they're gonna make the project at home. And the, one of the good things about what I have to offer is that most of us have these types of packages at home already. Um, as far as a cardboard base, if you have ever get anything shipped to you in a corrugated box, you can cut that into pieces you could use the back of a writing pad. Um, people generally have a pair of scissors and a bottle of glue at home. Sometimes libraries are, offer a little kit for, for people to take home if it's gonna be a virtual program. Um, I also have a few pre-recorded videos of some of my projects that I have uh, recorded and that I can offer you as well. And those can be posted on your uh, website or a link to them. And I offer those with no restriction. Um, once I give them to you, you could use them however you wish forever. And um, I have several projects of mine that I've done. I've done the um, cut up cereal box, the deconstructed cereal box. I've done how to make an American flag, how to do a text based piece of art and a couple of others. So, let me see. So my cost, um, the two hour program is $350. Um, I do a block booking discount where if we can do two programs, if you can help me get another venue, I can give each of you uh, the program for 325. I also pretty often are doing what I call a double session where I'll do two sessions back to back at the same library. And that way I don't have to pack it up, put it back in my car, drive somewhere else and set it up again. I can do two full sessions at the same venue. And sometimes I'll do one for kids and one for adults or one for teenagers and one for kids and families. You know, there's all sorts of ways that that can be arranged. And I can do the two sessions for 300 each. Um, my price includes my travel and mileage and all that. So there's no uh, need to uh, pay anything additional. I do look to do two or three programs a day though. I can do a morning session, which is usually 10 to 12, an afternoon session, one to three or two to four, and then an evening session could be five to seven, six to eight, something like that. And the evening session is great for a family program for parents that work that they could come to the library after dinner with their kids and make art together. And that um, lends itself to a nice summer reading kickoff or just special family event at, 
at the library or, or whatever venue it may be. Um, and, you know, I'm also negotiable if, you know, if I'm gonna be in the area and, and we need to figure out some other way to make this happen. My main goal is to interact with people in different communities, sharing art, making art together. And uh, I found that it's really, you know, once I've given my talk, got everybody set on what the project's gonna be and got them started on the hands-on workshop, I put some music on some Beatles or some jazz or, you know, some soft, some of the kind of music that I like to listen to in my own studio, everybody gets into the creative zone. And, you know, everybody has their own idea of what they want to do. And it's been really wonderful. So I'm hoping to have a chance to talk to you more about this and hopefully plan something. Thank you so much for listening to me. Um, and I will talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye.